Connect your Kamex to your Mac computer using the provided micro USB cable. Insert the standard USB-A connector into any USB 2 or USB 3 port on your computer. Insert the micro USB connector into the micro USB port labeled audio on the back of your Kamex. Power your Kmix on by pressing the power button, then waiting for up to 5 seconds as the Kmix loads. The Kmix is ready when your 8 channel select buttons and the transport controls illuminate green. Now that your Kmix is connected, open your favorite DAW or audio application. In this example, we are using Ableton Live. We have created a live set with 8 loops on 8 stereo audio tracks. Make sure that the Kmix is selected as the MIDI input device. Click the Live menu, then select Preferences. Under the MIDI tab, make sure Track and Remote are both set to On for the input KMix control surface. For specific instructions for your audio application of choice, you may need to consult the software's manual. KMix has three banks of MIDI controls. To begin, select one of KMix's three banks by pressing and holding Shift and pressing the Transport Diamond Record button for bank 1. Now all of KMix's faders, rotaries, and buttons, with the exception of the power and shift buttons, will send unique MIDI messages. In Live, enter MIDI mapping mode by clicking the button labeled MIDI. Map the transport controls by first selecting the play button in Live. With the play button selected, press the play button on KMix. Repeat this process for the stop and record buttons. Exit MIDI mapping mode by pressing the MIDI button again. Check to see that the mapping is functioning by pressing the play button on KMix. You should see the clock advance. Press stop on KMix to stop the clock. Next, we will map KMix's faders. In Live, click the MIDI button again. Select the fader for channel 1. Once selected, press the fader for channel 1 on KMix. Repeat this process for channel 2 through 8 and the master fader. When completed, press the MIDI button in Live to exit MIDI mapping mode. Test out your new mapping by pressing play or record on KMix and adjusting the faders. Enter MIDI mapping mode again to map KMix's four rotaries. Select Send A on channel 1, then move one of KMix's rotaries. Repeat this process for Send B of channel 1, and Send A and B of channel 2. Test out your mapping by adjusting the rotaries on KMix. Repeat any of the above steps for KMix MIDI Banks 2 and 3 for total assignable controls equal to 32 faders, 12 rotaries, and 87 buttons. For instructions on editing the MIDI information sent by KMix, please see the KMix manual and the KMix editor software for more information.